Hello everyone. Today I'll be presenting on a networking device which has connected people from all parts of the world. And because of this device, now we live in a very small world. Yes, you guessed it right. That is router. Definition of router. Router can be defined simply as an electronic component which is used to connect your multiple computers together and also with an external network. This is a hardware device that routes data from a local area network to another network connection. A router acts like a coin sorting machine allowing only authorized machines to connect to other computer systems. Most routers also keep log files about the local network activity. Definition of broadband router. A broadband router combines the features of a traditional network switch, a network firewall, and a DHCP server. A broadband routers are designed for convenience in setting up home networks, particularly for homes with high-speed internet service. Beside easier sharing of a home internet connection, broadband routers also enable sharing of files, printers, and other resources among home computers. A broadband router utilizes the Ethernet standard for wired connections. Traditional broadband routers required Ethernet cable that run between the router and the broadband modem and each computer on the home network as well. Newer broadband router also incorporate wireless networking capability utilizing the Wi-Fi standards. Important points about router. A router runs software that allows the device to move data from one network to another. A router operate at the network layer, OSI model layer 3. The primary function of a router is to connect networks together and keep certain kind of broadcast traffic under control. There are several companies that make routers, Cisco, Linksys, Netgear, Belkin, etc. Routing kinds, circuit switching in telephone networks, packet switching in internet. The routing process usually directs forwarding on the basis of routing tables which maintain a record of the routes to various network destination. Thus, constructing routing tables which are held in the router's memory is very important for efficient routing. Functions of router. Router restrict network broadcast to the LAN. Router act as the default gateway for network. It moves data between networks. Router also provides security to your LAN. It ensures that information doesn't go where it is not needed. This is crucial for keeping large volumes of data from clogging the connection of innocent by standards. It makes sure that information does make it to the intended destination as well. And uh, the router work on third layer of OSI. And to understand OSI better, as the diagram shows, or the picture shows, all people seems to need data processing. Router addressing methodologies. First, unicast. Uni Second, addressing methodologies, broadcast. One to all, broadcast delivers a message to all nodes in the network. In telecommunication and information theory, broadcasting refers to a method of transferring a message 
to all recipients simultaneously. Third, addressing methodology, multicast, one to many. Multicast delivers a message to a group of nodes that have expressed interest in receiving the message. In computer networking, multicast is the delivery of a message or information to a group of destination computers simultaneously in a single transmission from the source. Fourth, addressing methodology, Anycast, one to any. Anycast delivers a message to any one out of a group of nodes, typically the one nearest to the source. Anycast is a network addressing and routing methodology in which datagrams from a single sender are routed to the topologically nearest node in a group of potential receivers. Though it may be sent to several nodes, all are identified by the same destination address. Fifth, addressing methodology, geocast. Geocast refers to the delivery of information to a group of destinations in a network identified by their geographical location. It is a specialized form of multicast addressing used by some routing protocols for mobile ad hoc networks. Now, how to pull router GUI. Open command prompt with an administrator writes, type in ipconfig, check for the default gateway IP address, which we will be using to pull the GUI of the router. Let's discuss router IPs. Router can handle two type of IP addresses. One, internal IP addresses, which are also known as LAN side IP addresses, and external IP addresses, which are generally known as WAN side IP, or IP assigned by the ISP, or generally the external network. So if you look at the picture here, a router is in, is in the middle. It is providing private IP series to, the, to a network it is creating. And on the WAN side, we have an external IP. And if you look at that IP, 67.166.214.148. Now, this is a form of a public IP. So router at one side connected to the internet using telephone cable. And using Ethernet cable, router is creating a LAN. So router is in between uh, the WAN and the LAN. Router is acting as a default gateway for the LAN side computers so that they can access internet. Now on this slide, I will share key differences between router and switch. A router is used to connect computers of one network to another network. On the other hand, switch connect different computers within the same network. Router operates at network layer, which is layer three of OSI model. On the other hand, switch operates on data link, which is layer two of OSI model. Thank you for watching the Router Basic presentation with us. Please share your kind feedback and suggestions, which will guide us to share future information on our channel. And if you need any support, people in the United States and Canada can reach us on 1-800-230-5093. And our friends in the United Kingdom can reach us by dialing 0800-051-3905. Thank you very much.